so what's the secret to getting a 700 or even an 800 credit score um, a lot of people think that it's some kind of secret trick or is like some kind of you wave your magic wand oh, no. and it'll happen but you guys credit is so simple um there are like five things that um goes into play whenever it comes to your credit and um, the main thing is you know paying your bills on time paying your bills on time makes up about turn um, right onto highway 111 makes up about 35% of your credit score. So that's the biggest thing, right? So if you say, hey, Jesse, I do pay my bills on time. What now? Well, the next thing is your utilization rate. So what your utilization In rate 1. is- In 1.6 miles, turn is, left onto Dollar Town Road. Hold on, let me wait. Your utilization rate is your, um, your balance, so you have a credit limit of $300. And then you have a balance of, let's say $275, right? So your credit utilization rate, you wanna have that around about, um, if you're thinking about buying a home, we say no more than about 10%, right? So that means if you have a $300 credit card limit, you don't want to spend no more than $30 on that. But what a lot of people do is when they're trying to build their credit or they are excited about building their credit and they get a credit card to actually build their credit, they end up maxing out that credit card. So now you're wondering... At the next light, turn left. Now you're wondering why your score isn't improving. Your score isn't improving because you are utilizing the majority of your credit limit and the thing is um the banks they don't want to loan they don't loan money to people who actually need the money does that make sense Crazy. so they want to loan you money if you don't actually need the money that's kind of how it works right at the right so use the left lane to turn on to dollar one, town road number one is paying your bills on time number two is um, your credit utilization rate. Keep your um, credit card payments low, your credit card debt low, right? You don't want to max out your credit card. The next thing is the length of your credit history, which makes up about 15%. So um, if you have these cards and you're trying to build your credit, you don't want to start closing out your accounts. Don't start closing your accounts because the age of your credit matters. So they want In to see that six you, miles, turn left onto Spring Forest Drive. They want to see that you have a history. You have a good credit history and you have a good relationship with people. So they want they don't want you to get debt from them and then close it out. No, they want you to borrow money. They want you to use their cars. They want you to use their cars. They want you to pay them interest. You see what I mean? But they also don't want you to max it out. <laughs> they want you to use it, but they want you to also pay it off. Pay it back. Amazing. See what I mean? Okay, so, all right, so you also have your types of credit, right? That's 10%. So they wanna see a mixture. They don't wanna see that you have about 12 credit cards open, 12 credit cards account and nothing else open. They wanna see like that you have maybe a mortgage. They wanna see that you have credit cards. They wanna see that you have like a car payment. In two miles, turn left a onto Spring Forest Drive. A different mixture, you know, not just multiple of all the same things, three car payments, <laughs> stuff like that, and no credit cards. See what I mean? So they like to see a good credit mix. And a credit mix makes up about 10% of your credit. And lastly, they don't want to see you going out, which is are your credit inquiries. They don't want you going out and constantly applying for credit with a ton of people. If they see that, they're going to think you're desperate and you need the money, okay? So, just keep those five things in mind. Y'all have a good day. Oh, one more thing. 